So we're going to look at 3.5.17, and this is a derivative of a trig function, and we have a constant times a trig function plus another constant times a trig function. So we have the sum rule here and the constant multiple rule. So if you have uh, a f of x plus b g of x, and we want to take a derivative, you can bring the, you can first of all split the derivative over the sum, over the plus, And the second thing you could do is you could bring the constant out front of the derivative. So it's a f prime of x. You do the same. I forgot my derivative sign here, but b g prime of x. You can only do that when a and b are constants. <coughs> All right, so let's go ahead and apply the rule here. So I'm going to rewrite our original function f. 7 cos x plus 7 tan x. The other thing you're going to need is... You don't need all the trig derivatives, but it's very smart to have them handy, so you can just look at the ones you need. I got these right out of the book. Cosine derivative is right there, and tangent derivative is right next to it. So we're going to take our derivative, so make sure that you use the prime symbol here, so you know this is the derivative. So I'm just going to write the whole thing with the prime. And we have 7 times, I'm using the rule at the top here. Ooh, I think I wrote that a little too small. There we go. All right, now we're going to use those derivatives on in the little blue box over here. So derivative of cosine is negative sine. Make sure you use parentheses because you're multiplying. Plus... Derivative of tangent is secant squared. So there we go. And there's not much more to do. You can bring that negative 7 out front. And you no longer need the parentheses. This is f prime of x. The last step, well, that gives you the first answer right there. The last part, I'll just write. All right, so we're replacing x with 5 pi over 3. Now, secant squared, that means secant of that 5 pi over 3, whole thing squared. So don't get thrown off by the, uh, the square on the trig functions. It's written in a weird place. And then you do need to evaluate these and get numbers out. And secant, if you don't, don't know the secant value, it's 1 over cosine.